Hi friends, I um, did another canvas bookmark today out of strips of canvas that I have from Ripped Book uh, Canvas and I'm making a mama and a baby draft. I did have that sketch in there. The colors that I'm using are um, a blue, a citrine blue, a carbon black for the black, a hazan yellow medium, Hansa, a translucent white, as well as a sap green, cradactinone gold hue, and yellow oxide. And I believe burnt umber as well. So I start with my lightest color on my palette and I do the silhouette of the baby and the mama giraffe. I start in with a little bit of the reddish tone there which is the um, cordacridone, I cannot say it properly, gold hue. And it's got a bit of a red tone, a reddish gold. Go in with my shaded areas and darker areas there. And then I just keep adding the darker and darker as I go. Um, and then um, and then I go around a little bit and lighten it up with a little bit of the translucent white in between the um, shapes of the giraffe's pattern. So then you can see that I'm painting the pattern. I'm just I'm just going for it. I'm not really planning on what. I'm just trying to get it in there to look good. I have the shade area around the baby giraffe and the mom's giraffe is kind of squinting there. Her eyes are kind of closed because the baby's face is really numbed up against her. So there I am highlighting with the translucent white and getting in between a little bit just to kind of brighten it up. I decided to put a little forward leg or a chest or something there for the mom. Um, like she's kind of got her head curled back and the baby's numbed up against her so of course he's much smaller and so I went from the lightest to the darkest and then I kind of went a little light again for the highlights and it worked really well did a little black here for the eyes that was pretty close to it I did a few little spots of black here and there to low light and shadowing and um, even on the, the giraffe's um, spots to darken them up and continue with that little details here and there I again decide to work on the project at hand <laughs> what I wanted to do my um, main focus first and then work around it I sometimes I often do that sometimes I won't but I often do that and uh, I was thinking that maybe I wanted a tree in the background, so I was kind of thinking about all that kind of thing. Here I'm adding a little bit more of that reddish gold color, which would be the um, Cordacidone, if I'm saying it right, gold hue. Loving it. Here I'm adding my tree, and it's supposed to be kind of an African tree. Hopefully it came across as that. I got my um, burnt umber, and mixing a teeny bit of that black in for the bark. And then I got my sap green and a little bit of white to lighten it for my leaves. I have the sertuline, sertuline, how you say it, blue, and a little bit of white for the sky. And I'm going back in with my gold hues. Um, actually, it would be the Hosanna yellow medium and the um, yellow oxide and a little bit of white to make some of the, the grass lands there. I swipe a little green and a little bit of the uh, cordacidone yellow, um, gold hue, sorry, and the sap green up just to make little grass marks. And just to make a little interest, um, after all this I go over a little bit with the Posca pen around, make a bit of a border and sign it. I don't go over the giraffes, but I go over, you know, kind of sketch the border around everywhere else. And I hope you guys like this one. It was a really fun, cute little project. Um, I believe I just put a little dab of highlights in the eyes, and um, that's pretty much it with the Posca pen, I think. A little bit around, but that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. cute
And yeah, there I go in with my Posca pen. I find it was a little, I think, white, but at the end, um, I may not have recorded it, but I went a little bit over with the uh, yellow oxide just against the giraffe again, too, because it was just too white of that highlight in front of the baby giraffe. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.